So now France is actually the chair of the Council of the European Union. And we are going through a very important moment because of the war going on in Ukraine. So one of the, our priority, and this is, I think, something that our president has been doing during his first term, is to really strengthen the sovereignty of the EU. Um, just to give you uh, a quick example, last week was Europe uh, Day on May 9. Um, and uh, our president, for his first international trip uh, after his inauguration, decided to go to Germany. I think that a trip, official trip, was designed to mark the French-German uh, friendship, but it was also very important to um, underline uh, the issue of the sovereignty of the EU. And what could we expect from Macron in the next few years in terms of his Indo-Pacific strategy? Mm. The Indo-Pacific region is definitely a priority of France foreign policy. Uh, France itself is a country of uh, in the Indo-Pacific. We have 2 million French people living in the region. We have 93% of our economic exclusive zone uh, and permanent troops stationed in the region. Uh, and also we are aware of the global challenges uh, in the region. So France is definitely pushing for uh, its strategy uh, that is promoting a stable um, multipolar order uh, based on rules and a fair, um, efficient multilateralism and free movement. Um, so we can expect in the coming years to see the Indo-Pacific to be still at core uh, of the French foreign policy. Uh, France also have been um, working hard to encourage the EU to adopt an ambitious um, Indo-Pacific strategy. And what do you think Macron's win means for Taiwan? I think the relations between France and Taiwan have been growing um, very positively for the last couple of years um, in all fields of our cooperation. Um, it can be trade, um, business, uh, culture, art, uh, education, university, startups, innovations, there's plenty of opportunities. Um, and I think that definitely in the coming years, there will be more engagement uh, with Taiwan on these different issues. Uh, right now, there's a lot of French people who are willing to come to Taiwan. We are only waiting for borders to open up again, to be able to meet with their Taiwanese partners and to launch new projects, new partnerships, new corporations.